What it do, YouTube? It's Coffee tapping back in, man. And this is so crazy. We were just talking about this the other day in regards to the doomsday clock, the end of society, reckoning day, however you want to reference it, a big natural disaster or a sickness, something coming and just ending mankind, life as we know it. And um, some individuals were commenting, <clears throat> Coach, uh, I'll pin that video if y'all ain't seen it about the doomsday clock and, you know, the top scientists in the world meeting and setting a, a, a time to doomsday, how close to 12 it is represents how close to the end of society we are. And uh, someone commented and they were like, yo, coffee. Um, well, one individual was saying about a uh, asteroid that's on its way. Um, some say 2029, it's going to hit Earth. I was saying, I hope like uh, Armageddon, comment if y'all remember that movie, they sent some dudes from an oil rig up there into space to land on the asteroid and blow that thing up and save everyone. It's crazy, you know? Um, who knows if this kind of stuff was really going on. Obviously, I don't think the public would know. It's some scary-ish. I don't know. I personally keep faith in another way that life will continue on and prosper on this planet. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think about it. But um, someone else commented and said, yo, coffee, the rich and powerful are already ready for this. They have bunkers. They have supplies. They have... Um, you know, plans set in place to go underground um, or some say leave to another planet or place or something. You know, we've seen this kind of stuff in movies and, you know, movies are movies. I always say, though, there's something that comes to certain stuff where there's a little wink, wink, nod, nod, like uh, some bits of reality in movies. Some ish is just entertainment. Some ish is based on more than that, but this is Singer Genuine who drew this up. You see, it's a picture of this underground bunker, like, uh, you know, from a view from the side, from looking onto it, where you can see it from above and below and all that. And he says, bunker time. I've been speaking on this for years now, maybe even more than 10 years. Family and friends already know and will verify. Now they want to listen. But yes, I'm on it. Wow. Sometimes I feel like I'm way ahead of my time. Sometimes the things you're not privy to, you have to look to those who study and observe diligently the things most never pay attention to, which I have for years. And I see what most don't. Please, everyone, pay attention. I may even, and then uh, I don't even know exactly what that means, and, and dollar sign ads. I don't know what exactly he's saying by that. But uh, Genuine basically saying he's been speaking about it for years. He's ahead of his time. Leads me to believe he's saying he's got a bunker in place built, you know, and again, this is um, a music artist who's definitely made himself some money, you know, and this is something he's been preparing for, which I remember a while back, there were all those shows, Doomsday Preppers and things like that, you know, but um, I'm just trying to say this is a individual who made himself some money. I wouldn't say he's in the ultra rich, you know, but um, I don't know. He He definitely set some money aside to try to save himself if if the end comes let's see what people are talking about in the comments y'all can spend money on those things if you want to but when it's time to transition from this world into the next you're going bunker or not god still has your address so this person speaking from um a spiritual place he says when it's that day it don't matter how much money you got Excuse me. It don't matter how much money you got. Bunker, no bunker. It's coming. Uh, you can run, but you can't hide. And and water can flow. 
Um, how about warn us why the rich are building underground bunkers and what's coming that y'all feel like feel that it'll protect you? Uh, this individual says, these are my next thoughts. Nine, uno, uno, part two is coming. That's your answer. Sounds like that's what he's doing. They will never say why, but if say this post would be a warning, just not in as many words. So what do y'all think, man? You know, this, this one individual was saying, how can the rich and powerful out there, you know, who has information that the world is not privy to every day, Worker bees, I guess a lot of us could be looked at in society, you know, working the uh, undesirable build jobs or um, just, you know, don't for whatever reason it may be. We just don't have that money to burn in a sense. You know, we're just getting by. Why? Um, What do the rich know that we don't know? Um, And why don't they warn the world? Now, what do y'all think about that? Some say warning everyone would cause mass hysteria and there's no point to it. Some say that's bullish. What do you think? What say you? You know, do you, do you want to know if there's nothing, if there was something coming and there was nothing you could realistically do? Um, what, what, like, would you want to know? Scary-ish. I hate going to this place in my mind, man, but... I don't know. It's just uh, it's just crazy to think about. And what, what do you think about genuine sharing this? Do you think there's any particular reason? Do you think there's something that made him do this, or he just wants to put it out there? Comment. Because <sighs> you see, this person said, "Sounds like that's what he's doing." Then we got this one. He's not part of the elite. Big difference. Also, if he did know and spoke up, I'm almost 100% positive some men in black suits would show up at his door. Hell, Meta just banned Sean King's accounts for speaking to public about Pale. Just use this post and the actions of the elite as your guide. So this individual is saying kind of something that I was saying, right? Don't get me wrong, Genuine made himself a lot of money. And comment to your favorite Genuine tracks, man. Me and Wifey, a couple months ago, she came to work with me when we were riding home. We were just playing all kinds of old school 90s stuff and even further back, some of it, you know? And um, Genuine definitely was on that playlist. Same old G, that's gotta be my favorite Genuine song. Um, what's the difference? The list goes on and on, man. Genuine had them hits. But she's saying, you know, he's got brethren, but he's not in the elite, the rich of the rich, you know. Um, but what do you guys think? If he did share it with the world, if anyone does, if they are in the know of any of this information that may or may be out there and they shared it with everyone, would they face consequences? What's your thoughts? And um, I'm not in the know about this Sean King and speaking on pale. If anyone knows what that is, please let me know below. And WW3 nuclear B-O-N-B-I-N-G potential from other countries or chaos during E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N could also be threats. Great point. Like these, I just get closer to God. W-A-R. We've been told already it's just a matter of people believing or not instead of call, calling it all conspiracy theories. So we'll read three more of these comments and then we'll close this video out. It's a wild uh, subject we're talking about here, you know, but some think we're closer to the end times than we think. And there's a lot of wild things going on right now, man. You know, out of the NWO's playbook, if you will that we're seeing right before our very eyes. <clears throat> Here's the reality. If the world is coming to an end, would you want to be one of the survivors? Let's say there's a nuke WAR coming. What kind of life will you have trying to survive an air polluted water slash soil contaminated planet? I've lived in a good life. And if God decides to allow man to destroy the planet, and I know a better place awaits me. You can't be a Christian and be concerned with death. So 
It's an interesting comment there. Personally, I hate even going these places in my mind. You know, I'm kind of I'm the kind of individual that just overthinks things, you know. But um, I don't know. I just can't even really go here all the way. I mean, obviously, I'm bringing this video and urging everyone to comment and want to talk with y'all about this. So I do kind of go there, but it's tough for me to go all the way there. But I used to dwell on things more in my life. Over time, I've kind of just come to accept things, even if I don't fully accept them, you know. You can't run from God. And then the last comment here, I wouldn't be announcing it. When things go bad, people will be storming your property, trying to get in and everyone else who advertised it. Which, um, you know, I believe that to be true when chaos kicks in. It's just going to be crazy. And we'll just leave it at that. But Genuine actually responds to this comment and says, who said it would be on my property? That's the dumbest thing one could do. LOL. Absolutely not on my property. LOL. So Genuine saying it ain't going to be on my property. You know, confirming that that person was right. That would be stupid. Why tell, you know? Um, and then someone else said back, but how are you going to make it? To the bunker when you're it when ish hits the fan it's not on your property never mind lol rich people dilemmas good point good point there um someone says genuine stay out of israel signing bombs and you won't need a bunker it's definitely on his property someone says so it's definitely possible genuine wine could be pulling the okie doke you know real talk yo i just thought this would be a crazy plot to a movie but for real he could be pulling the okie doke because you definitely if you have something like this set in place you definitely definitely need um accessibility when that time comes right but i just thought of a plot of a movie what if some motherfuckers uh snatched up someone who was rich and powerful and demanded them to tell him, hey, where's your bunker at? I'm taking that. I don't know. Maybe that's not, I don't know. Is that an interesting plot to a movie? Comment below. Uh, this dude says, genuine. Wouldn't be too difficult to track it down. Internet sleuths are very resourceful, but I'm all for it. You should decorate it like the one from Blast from the Past. Isn't that the Brendan Fraser movie? And, um... Good point by that individual. Internet sleuths, the things that they find out is simply amazing. And, and just off the smallest things, you know, it, from true crime cases to go off to all kinds of other situations, the things that are found by people online, how resourceful they are is, is very, very shocking. Shaking my head, just buying themselves a bit more time in a most likely uninhabitable planet ain't like after three months the mall will be back open so you know do again that comes to do you want to live after mankind ends after life as we know it has fallen is it better off to just perish with the rest um than live in um a lifestyle that probably will not be too fun at all. And, you know, uh, what do you think about those that do manage to somehow delay reckoning for themselves personally? Will will life restart back up? Do you think that the ELITE have some kind of plan set in place not to just dodge doomsday, but to pick up the pieces and you know, move on. Is there is there plans like that put in place? Comment. Let me know what you think. And then um this guy says, Oh, it's just Israel in FM with China uh Russia and China and Iran and North Korea and much more. You better do your research, lady. It's about to get real. They are building them on various islands and places that are not heavily trafficked by the public. Uh, Book of Revelation tells us the rich will hide in caves. 
This is pissing me off. Hell, everyone can't afford to build bunkers. Tell us what the fuck y'all know that we don't. And again, comment. If you fall in the everyday category like myself, and, you know, realistically, we don't, aren't going to have access to something like this, do you really want to know? Or would you rather it just happens? You know, I mean, think about it. If there was whatever kind of just horrible event coming right now as we speak, would you want to know what happens if the outside caves and y'all stuck underground in a beautiful home but going crazy? That's some scary-ish right there. Laugh my ass off. Everyone falling for this something about to happen narrative just like y'all did when Snoop was supposedly quitting smoke. Laugh my ass off. Social media makes hurting the masses so easy. <clears throat> um, you know, that's an interesting point, right? Like, conditioning and putting messages in our head truly is easy. That's a fact. Uh, no bunker will save anyone from the rapture. This is crazy. Now everyone is talking about this, but you can't escape God wrath though believe it or not when he shakes this earth and bunkers going down too you better get right with jesus that is the only way to escape what he got coming for this wicked world this satan world if you can't tell by now stop voting for the demagogue political stuff you gotta just trust jesus because no bunker can save you from what's coming next I'm so tired of seeing these bunkers that the rich can afford to build. I just pray God keeps me and my family covered. Uh, we'll read three more of these responses and then we're out of here. Yep, billionaires in space, private bunkers, the Obama's making a terrorist attack movie. Something is definitely about to happen. Hopefully the end is near. A better one will replace it. Laugh my ass off. Dang, y'all really don't read the Bible. You do know the most high don't make the boiling hot earth core for no reason, right? Maybe read the book of Obadiah. There's no escaping what's imminent. Man, not trying to be saved from the rapture. Don't y'all think he has enough sense to know he can't hide or stop God? He's trying to prepare for the evil on earth and move in silence. That's going to do it for this video. A lot of people bringing up the rapture there. Comment if you ever seen that movie. I believe it's called the Rapture Palooza. It was like a, a dark comedy about the rapture. Uh, Craig Robinson was in it. Funny dude, man. A lot of great movies. Hot Tub Time Machine, one of my favorites that he was in. But that's going to do it for this one. Let's talk about this all in the comments below. As always, do me that solid smash. That like for me. Sub up to the channel. Stay tuned for more. Daily videos from Jay Coffee Talk. Coffee talking it up with y'all on music, news, sports, and more. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. And I.